Hello, good morning. Uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Again, this is Santos Capron Jr. Wishing you a good day. Now, today what I'm going to discuss is how I prepared my HBox summary page. Okay. Now, uh, when I'm preparing BMS graphics for a certain project, I want to create a page that will help my BMS operator to uh, to be able to view a certain page that he will have uh, the all the idea or all the information available in one single graphics display. Like this HVOC summary page, I'm displaying here all the air handling units in the project. As you can see here, I have around 27 air handling units here. So what are the information I'm displaying in the Air handling unit. Now I'm displaying the supply air temperature. So in one glance, I will be able to know if my uh, A shoes are working properly. Because uh, as you can see here, you will be able to see the supply air temperature. So by just looking at the supply air temperature, you will know that your air handling unit is providing cooling in the area that they are uh, serving. Okay, then you. I, I have also the uh, I have also the return air temperature. Okay, then I have the bulb feedback. So with these three information, you will be able to know or analyze if your air handling unit is working properly. Okay. Then if uh, let's say you have here, if you can see a bulb that is closed. Okay, then you will see also no air flow, no flow. Meaning this air handling unit, this two air handling unit, H11, H12, maybe they are shut down or under maintenance. So you have already an idea here, which air handling units are not working. Okay, as you can see here, then this one also 19 and 20, there is no flow there. Okay, so you will be always prompted, okay, I have two problems with four air handling units. You can always call the maintenance people. You can ask them, okay, what's happening with my AH11, AH12, 19 and 20. You can ask them if you, uh, they are doing uh, preventive maintenance, okay? And as you can see here, uh, again, I have displayed here an alarm reset and uh, enable, disable, BMS, enable, disable, okay? So as you can see here, uh, I think, there's some really problem here because it is not enabled, okay? Now, I already provided the buttons, okay? So these buttons, once you click it, it will go to the uh, graphic display of that particular air handling unit. Then I have also here uh, the area being served. I'm doing this because let's say the BMS operator is sitting in front of the BMS workstation and he receive a call. Let's say someone called from, uh, let's say dining room or restaurant. They are complaining that it's a little, little bit hot in that area. So he knows already, okay, dining area, which air handling unit is serving it, then he will check. Okay, maybe he have to, he will go to the graphics of that uh, air handling unit and he can change the set point. Maybe the set point is a little bit high. That's why it's delivering a little bit hot, in, hot air in that uh, particular area, okay? So by sitting in front of the computer, you will be able to know what is happening with your uh, air conditioning system or your air handling unit, okay? So these are the information and giving to the BMS operator, okay? So this helps a lot the chip engineer to check what is going on in the project, okay? Now I have also here some uh, PFAU, uh, ERU, okay? These are related also to the fire alarm system because these are all supplying uh, treated air to all uh, fan coil units, okay? Then I have here the fire alarm, main fire alarm panel. If there is a fire alarm, supervisory and some uh, monitoring alarm there, okay? As you can see here, I have some alarms here. Then I'm providing also buttons where the operator can go to the plumbing summary page, then electrical summary page. If you want to see what is going on with the electrical system and the plumbing system, okay? Now I have also here showing my chilled water system. 
So I have nine chillers. I am showing here which chillers are running. As you can see here, there are three chillers running. Okay. Okay, uh, two chillers rather. Maybe this one chiller is uh, running in manual. Okay. So I have two chillers here. Okay, start, start. Okay. Then I am also showing, okay, wait. I'm also showing the chillers button. Now you will click this button, then it will go to the chiller page. Primary pump, secondary pump. Okay. Now at the, uh, this left portion of my screen, I'm showing all the navigation menu. If you want to go to the air handling unit, then it will show you the air handling unit summary page. Then uh, energy recovery unit, it will show you the energy recovery summary page, okay, three letters and a fan coil units, it will show you the, all the fan coil units being monitored in the BMS, staircase slip resurgation, water tanks, so all these buttons or navigation menu will bring you to the specific uh, page for that uh, system, okay, like this FM200, power factor production panel, ANSOL system, Zone control valve and alarm control valve, motorized smoke fire dumpers, irrigation pumps, split AC temperature monitoring for the special rooms, water features for my landscaping, submersible pumps, fire pumps, exhaust fan, etc. So I have also here some navigation buttons, fire scenario level eight, fire scenario level nine, jet pumps, okay. So this is how I'm doing my HVAC summary page, wherein the operator can just uh, stay in this uh, in this uh, graphic. As you know, uh, there will be several or maybe 50 BMS pages or BMS graphics. So the operator can just uh, stay in this HVAC summary page by just looking at this. Uh, page, he will be able to understand what is going on with the uh, pulling of the project. Okay, so this is how I prepared my HBOX summary page. I hope I have given you some idea in the near future. If you will become a BMS engineer, you will have an idea to prepare uh, a summary page for your BMS operators or maintenance people. Now, as I said, there will be always limit to the points that you will be able to put in one uh, BMS graphic page. Okay, so make sure you will not reach the limit or the maximum. Now there is also one disadvantage for putting so many information or monitoring points in your graphics because it will take some time to uh, refresh the page. Okay, so once again, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe and you can click also the notification bell and you can always leave a comment so we can discuss whatever question you have in your mind. Again, I'm saying God bless us all and bye.